randomly he would just lose. It's like, yeah, okay. I constantly forget this man is a Jackal win. Like, uh, he, he, he beat win. Jackal at Xanadu 500. Oh. At the homecoming. Uh, yeah, that's this year. <laughs> yeah, it was this that, Yeah, it's not even like... Well, he also has a Meister win. People forget he has a, see, he has a Meister win. That was What? Like, I that, didn't know that one, actually. That was from 2020. That's a, like... Like, yeah, 2020, but, like, people forget Meister was also, like, he was six in the world at the time. That's, like, that, that is peak Meister there. Yeah, he's That's a... That's why. <laughs> I, I forgot about that entirely. Huh. All right, so Joe, you know, lots of wins under his belt. Very decorated career. But no Ulan wins. I'm curious. <laughs> Don't, don't contest that! It's invincible! Who yeah. This? So a lot, like in general, a lot of Bow like Bowser has, he has armor, but it should also be noted that all of his smash attacks also have armor. So even if like that move didn't have invincibility, I think there's a real chance it just wouldn't have even beat the armor, right? Yeah. But it is invincible, and he got. That's the first time I've seen jab not uh frame trap, but yeah, easy pickup. He got caught with that uh using his jump after that uh, neutral B. To be honest, going for down air there was a little bit of a flex. I think back air would have been easier. Back air would have taken. You could have honestly just down smashed too. Oh, uh, yeah. Because like Palu has like has a really generous down smash hitbox. Yeah. Hitbox, and not, not generous down smash. So, this is a hitbox though. That move kind of does suck if you miss it. A oh, big body moment right here. Seeing juggle to death. Uh-oh. But you can't miss that one. So I would, I would also say, on the topic of Seagull flexing with the with the down air, the fact that he even edge guarded is a flex, because Seagull does not edge guard. That's actually true. My man likes to be planted. But even like he's a ledge trapper, but then he he doesn't hit his ledge traps. And it's very questionable at times some of the decisions decisions he's making and how he actually, you know, gets away with it. Mm. But like it's when he gets his advantage state, he gets his advantage state. But yeah. the problem is sometimes continuing it because if he gives it up, he gives it up, and that's screwed. But it, you're usually dying when. How did that auto not? Well, trigger? that, but also like that, that. That's not an auto one. He's no jump Bowser. You, I feel like you drop yeah, down an air yeah. there, or just or counter. Air. Like that's one of the few times your counter will work. On paper, yeah. Sometimes well, Valtain is counter just just well, ceases to function. Yeah, but Bowser's such a big body that even if like. You know, he had sped away in the front, like the front hitbox was the one that activated the back part of the hit. That's wait, he, did he use a jump there? I think he did. Oh, this sucks. Go this sucks. Oh, he couldn't find the second, that second uh, back here. Yeah, just didn't quite come in time. Oh, okay. we are in his head. We are in his oh, head. If he landed on the, that platform, if he landed, KB landed on it, that could have just blood to death. Like, there was definitely potential there. KB shouldn't. This I can on the platform might, yeah. I don't even think that was good DI though. Like I, I think he was probably dead anyways, but I don't think that DI helped. Whatsoever. I think he was trying to influence to be off through the platform, back, yeah. and then mm -hmm. the kill flash happened. DI doesn't register for a little bit. Yeah. I knew it though. Like after those air dodge calls started happening, I kind of felt like K-Beam was gonna go for a hail mary. So no, yeah, it's Bowser. You kind of have to at that point, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so K-Beam on the board. You said there's a run back from earlier today, right? So KB yeah. defeated Seagull Joe earlier. Let's see. Yeah, 3 1. Let's see if the tail of the tape rings any differently this time around. Three, two, one, go! So I just, I just read a tweet. So it's, uh, oh, he's pulling out the Diddy. Okay. Uh, which makes sense. I feel like Diddy Kongs have historically struggled in this matchup. But I'm trying to think, like, what ditties do I have received in this match? Like, I can't remember names specifically, but I do remember in both Brawl and Smash, or not Brawl and Smash 4, definitely not Brawl. Bowser is not a function for Brawl. In uh, Smash 4 and Ultimate, like, a lot of times, Bowser's kind of have a hard oh. time yep, with that, or have an easier time with that. Getting confirmed kills if Diddy can't control their banana quite enough. And a higher percentage kind of get bullied around. But, but on the flip side, you get the safety and security of having banana into confirms and lots of damage as well. So They also did uh, in this game, right? I, I didn't play Smash 4, but banana doesn't get hit by other like moves, right? That was a change that happened between Smash 4. Like, it could sometimes lose trade. Banana can sometimes lose trade as an item. Um, not that I remember. Maybe they were just good at timing it, but it felt like you just kind of always got hit by it. Oh, okay. Actually, you could clank with it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 There's a property. I forgot the name of it. There's a term for it. Like, 
Whatever. The point is, uh, this game definitely got ben Banana got benefited. Oh, Ooh. okay. Why can you not do that when you play Palu's show? Like, actually, that is true. You, that is well within his capabilities. The bat Palu does have a back. It's not like they're different down here, right? They're both kind of just sticking something out there. Palu using her leg, Diddy is both his hands, but it's like they're not like different types of down airs. Oh my God! He almost did. I don't think that would have even killed though. Uh, like, with third stock, well, kill flash. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. that's gonna. That's that's gonna kill. But maybe. But also, I think. He, oh, KB would have been stuck in a situation where Seagull could have just double dunked. Yeah, could have double dipped there. Man, Gong Diddy was the right call. I'll give it up. He's. I think he also talked about it because I think he started using low sensitivity stick uh, because yeah. to help with the uh, input problems. Meaning, like he was talking with uh, Marcus earlier about going Diddy in this because how it would affect the smash attacks. Basically, how it would affect the smash attacks. Mm -hmm. And we discussed it, so not super surprising he's doing it. But I'm kind of surprised to see it going as well as it did. Like, granted, KB did SD in the last talk, but the fact that there was kind of a forced error there kind of just sh showed like how Seagulls like, was kind of just playing that game. Yeah, it was getting his ass beat. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. I use my one for life. I can't say that anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, however, going to small battlefield, I don't like this. I feel like it's kind of going to get kind of hard to actually even hit uh, Diddy on this stage because you're so big at getting between the platforms, it's going to be a struggle for you. And Diddy can just move around on the ground. Like, yeah, they're kind of the same speed, but like Diddy's also just way smaller, right? Mm -hmm. So like actively hitting him is going to be a lot harder than Diddy actively hitting him. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh. Nice. Really good command grab right there. God, I mean, Diddy having that and the banana is so messed up. Yeah. Uh, okay. That just didn't even hit him. Like, it's actually for a long time. Yeah. Well, when, so I mean, the, the get up attack. And KB was like right in his face too when he did it. Oh, he get up attack? I, I think he get up attacked at least. I saw the tail move forward. And I assume he moves his tail forward when he get up attacks. Yeah, his get up attack is with the tail. Yeah. At least, at least what I think I saw it. If I didn't, oh well. All right, 171 percent. Now Joe's looking, yeah. just looking for the down tilt, looking for. Anchors. That's like 30, 40 percent. Yeah, a lot. This should kill. No, definitely not on Bowser. Yeah, not that barely even kills. Like, I don't even think that kills Mario there. Oh, okay. He 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 got sent out of it. Instantly mashed and accidentally caught banana with it. Uh oh. These spot dodges are getting him alive. Yeah, that. That was a control stick moment, I imagine. Probably meant to run for a dash attack or something. Yeah. I, uh -oh. That was a really bad side B from Seagull. Don't oh, side B. threatening to go out there. Yeah. Joe could not side B there. Legally not allowed to. That fair definitely would have beat it out, too. <laughs> the up beat the ledge. But we get away with it, too. Going back for the banana. Going to get it again. Oh, we went for the extension over the safety combo. But it doesn't matter because even percents, which technically means Bowser's winning. But, you know, it's not the uh, worst case scenario if you're Diddy here. Because, like, even, like, you're, you're not going to kill Bowser for, like, another 30% with the smash attack. But if you build up enough rage, could potentially kill the F smash thing even like at 110. At the ledge. Yeah. Yeah, here at the ledge if you F smash. Uh, you can get fine. So I did learn that uh Bowser's side beat kinda loses to anything. Like in terms of like the obstacle. Like if you are Robin and you use a tome and then he grabs you while the tome is still like in the air, it tome beats it. Yep. Yeah. So I think I think I think banana may Banana maybe uh, even up smash kills there just realized. Ooh. Good tech, but back there. Yeah, nice. You get, you get Excellent sequence right there from both players, but especially from Joe. That was a really greedy get up attack, too, from KB, though. Yeah. I have to highlight KB's defense against Banana in this game. It's been stepped up a lot. So here's a side beam. Da oh, da okay, <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, he probably would have died. He, he landed on the platform, but he went directly up, not even to the side. 
he went he went to the heavens. He didn't even like stop at anywhere along the way. Uh oh. Okay, good interruption. That's gonna even up the playing field right there. Joe forced the ledge. Easy pickup. I don't know if he gets your jump back here. Yeah, if Fabian had come into that early, that might have been game. We're gonna need to get the F tilt. Just the, 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 the pivot cancel. Pivot cancel F tilt. It's such a good tool for Bowser. We see it, we see KB use it a lot. Uh-oh. He wanted his banana bad. Oh! Well, that could have been the all or nothing that led to the nothing here. Yeah. Cause and that's a gamble. Because you gave up your advantage state, which Bowser excels in. For for something that would have killed. Oh, but it right. did it. So now you have a Diddy with banana in advantage while you're trying to get off that ledge. That should have taken. Okay. It. Uh not at the ledge, so we're not even like at mid-stage. That's so wait. Oh wait. no! 100%? Okay. Yeah, okay. But now you don't have banana. Actually, I think, no, that was the first throw. We out? That nope, we're back in. Should. This actually might be close. No. Yeah, 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 see? It was stale and also, like, center stage. You have plenty of room to be out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's not gonna, that's gonna send, but. But you have the banana I'm still, there. Yeah, I'm not, that's fair. Really good stuff from KB to get that banana out there. Back air won't do it just yet. Oh man, it's gonna be oh, a hard recovery. Oh, you gave him banana back though. Gave him banana back, but with that throw, it is gone. So now you have to get That's off of the ledge, and that was such a throw. Good. I'm gonna keep it a buck. That, that, that game was such a throw. Like everyone knew you were oh, going no. for that, but like even if I did, I will say though, it is kind of impressive, as impressive as you know, jump spamming back air is. It was kind of impressive though that Seagull managed to outspace Bowser, uh, get up attack. Yeah, because I mean, like he was jumping in that space the whole time. Like that get up attack, although brave, like. It wouldn't have. Ne I don't think it would have netted you enough to win the game off of. Maybe, maybe not. But at it, that percent, like Diddy would be sent back so far that, like, actually Bowser is pretty fast. You might be able to get back to him before he was out there. You probably would. But at least you'd be back on stage. But also, it's the fact that you actually uh, even get up attack. You yeah, now. Joe. Even Joe was like hands up, shaking his head, like, "Why'd you get up attack there?" <laughs> like, I don't keep it above that. Grab. Oh, he had. I don't know, I can, there's no excuse there. But normally that does true combo. Maybe that he's too light for... Okay. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Forcing another low recovery here. D that connected? Did the banana mess up that grab? Maybe. Because he like kind of fell out of it. I don't think it was because of like a mash out. At least I don't think it was. Oh my god. Joe stabilizing in a big way here. Using that forward air like a back air. Just throwing it out there. Oh, we're trying to get an extent. Uh, fair there, not going to give a combo off, off of him there. Wow, I tall think, moment. I do think one of like the biggest... I'm not going to say downfalls, but something Smash players need to do more is Z-catching. Yeah. Because we saw him catch Nana with a Nair, which is like, yeah, you caught it. But you also committed that. It is going to kill. You committed to an aerial and you lost your main... Uh, lost your main ledge trap position. Right? Yeah, if you play a heavy character, it's pretty much a, a necessity because most of them don't have fast enough aerials to mirror. Like, doing that's really good. Really, you kind of just have to see catch. Oh, still getting hit, though. And I think Kami kind of needed a moment mentally between that, after that last game. You yeah, know, he kind of ran it. pretty flustered. He ran it back rather fast. Even with that, the eye is not going to... Good idea. Good idea there. This should no, not enough rage on KB side, and I don't think he got enough of the hitbox. Okay, See, that get up attack was actually really smart. <laughs> like having the banana there to cover you, huge. That shouldn't take it off of that alone. Yeah, you had to really up there. You didn't have a jump. Bowser's face when he's in that crap. What is that? that is yeah, Joe's it. confident. Joe's playing confident now, and I don't see a way that he can lose it because KB looking very flustered that those grabs at the ledge are just not working as they used to. Oh, okay. They they are both kind of screwing it. Well, most of KB, but they are. The boat's just throwing something, hoping it works. KB kind of needed to. That's like the 30. KB yeah. kind of needs to, because granted, it's like, yeah, Bowser lives for a while, but he's, wait, no jump, but he no takes so much, um, he just takes so much damage in these socks, it feels, why is that move like that safe, right? Like, I know it's Bowser, you know, dashing out his shield grab, but like, he was able to get a roll off and still be actionable, mm -hmm. which is like, it's like, yeah, if he was able to get a roll off, cool, that makes sense, but being actionable too, it's kind of, it's kind of safe. Yeah, that move's been stupid for like, 
Oh, so good tech. Is. That's un really unfortunate, though. Yeah, great tech, but even better pickup right there from Seal Joe, guaranteeing himself top two now. And old guard protects the house today. It's going to be an old man grand finals. Got Pink Fresh and Seal Joe. Ah, this takes me back. This takes me back. Yeah, those were the days. Yeah. Yep. Sonic Bail every week for, it was like a solid, like maybe half, three fourths a year. Seal was, was on the grind then. Yeah. A man used to be out here. Now he has, what, two kids? Yep. Yep. Married. Still a teacher. Somehow, somehow a teacher. I never really got that. That was such a weird, like, thing for, like, it's like learning everybody and what their jobs. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Computer engineer? Makes sense. Working, like, works business, works like business? I can see that. Construction? I get that. Seagull Joe? Teacher? No. No. Those two do not, like, there was no Venn diagram there to be made. Not in the context of Smash, I would say. Maybe, like, if you, like, as a person, but, like, knowing him in the Smash context and the Smash scene yeah. doesn't make sense. It yeah, doesn't Yeah, I feel like up. he would be an excellent teacher for, like, stuff that is well he's a science he's teacher. a science teacher so like stuff that is like studied founded it's, like, it's, an, it's an objective you know, thing yeah objective thing when it comes to smash like no yeah. i have very i have to question that man constantly hmm. like i mean oh his he, wife's in chat saying uh kids recently discovered seagull jail that's legendary they always they do it every year that's, that's the fun part like so i used to belong to the flex community shout out to game gym that, that is that's a sponsor that is that is seagull's uh sponsor yeah. Uh, so they're, they're bi-weekly. The only PR player in attendance would pretty much be Siegel and, like, JoJ, right? Yeah. But it's also, like, when JoJ was good, but he wasn't as good as he is now. So it would pretty much be JoJ wins, like, not JoJ, JoJ, like, wins until he gets to Siegel. And then it's like, well. And then Siegel, like, to my knowledge, though, only lost one set ever when he was there. Across, like, the year and a like, quarter of uh, Flex's ultimate existence mm. which was to Versailles and Ike players shout out to him huh. um, he doesn't play anymore he plays Valorant now slash I think he's also like really good at baseball that's high 